Thank you. My name is Sarah. I have been um, mentoring with Magic for um, almost 10 years now, um, on and off. Um, but I'm an engineering duty officer in the Navy. Um, and it was it was so much fun to work with Itzel. It was just fantastic. She's got um, a level of motivation and enthusiasm um, mixed with curiosity and also fearlessness. Maybe it's something in the school where she is just ready to dive right in into any project. And it was so great. Um, I'll let her tell the journey, but we started out learning about superconductivity and then it took us to a really cool project um, that I'm excited to do kind of alongside with her, although she made much better progress than I did. So we're going to keep in touch to continue on our journey with that. Um, I also learned that she's a water polo player, which is just amazing. Um, and she's got a lot of fearlessness and strength there, which is really admirable. Um, and we also bonded over the fact that we both love Disney and um, and our and our kind of Calif our shared California experience as well. That was really nice to um, as you'll see in one of her projects, one of the things that I miss about California is the abundance of produce that can be in your very backyard. Um, so she's got some cool projects to show you, and I'm excited um, for you to hear from Itzel about her projects. Thank you, Sarah. Um, my name is Itzel, and my mentor is Sarah. So she's an engineer in the U.S. Navy, as she mentioned, and she's currently working she's currently managing a project called surface ship weapons um she went to grad school in germany and speaks german which is super cool um she got her physics masters in the university of heidelberg and grew up in new york before moving to germany she on her downtime she likes to go on runs hikes and spend time with her family as well as her pets my project is a three by three led cube now, a 3x3 LED cube is a 3D dimensional cube with a hardware and software component to the kit. We wanted to learn about superconducting magnets to start off, but then it led us to exploring magnetism, and from there, electrical components, and finally to the 3x3 LED cube. We learned about superconductivity, the Meissner effect, basic circuits and their components, as well as magnetism. And I first started off with an 8x8 LED cube, but then I downsized to a 3x3 LED cube due to timely manner. And I have a four I have four faces done for my 8x8, and but I still need to complete my circuit board for my 8x8. Now, when I first started off, I wanted to learn about superconductors. But I and I wanted to build a levitating skateboard, but turns out that I needed to cool down the magnets to 77 degrees Kelvin, which is kind of hard to do if you're trying to get if you're trying to get liquid nitrogen without adult supervision. Now I couldn't really do that because of the pandemic and I wasn't at school yet, so I couldn't really build my um, levitating skateboard, so I had to turn to normal magnets. Or, su or super strong magnets to um, replicate the superconductivity aspect of my project. Now that led me to exploring magnetism. So with magnetism, I wanted to create a project that involved magnets, of course. So I built this balancing pencil that you can see on the bottom right, uh, near the left. And, and because and I built this pencil. And then after that, I wanted to learn about electrical power generation with that involved magnets, of course. So I went on YouTube and tried to find this video, right? And I found this video that involved magnets. And if you put the magnets close enough, it created, it powered on the light as you could see on the top, top right. And, but turns out that this was a fake video because according to the law of thermodynamics, energy can't be created or destroyed. So it turns out that it was fake, right? And, you know, you got to read the comments, everyone, because, you know, it, it might not work. And um, so instead of, instead of creating an electrical power generator, I turned to chemical power instead and try to produce electricity using a lemon battery. When making a lemon battery, some LEDs burned out quickly, 
So that led me to figuring out why, and in the process, exploring a bit more about LEDs. And when building my three by three LED cube, I encountered it on YouTube. So, you know, you can find most things on YouTube. Um, and I didn't even know they existed. So I first started with an eight by eight LED cube because, you know, I, I thought I was gonna finish it. And I was, I started out and I wanted to finish my LED cube, but then turns out I kind of ran out of time. So I downsized to a three by three LED cube. And turns out when building the eight by eight faces, you have to consider the power of exponents because when building one face, you have to solder 64 LEDs in one face and you have to solder, and you have to make eight faces. So that was some tedious work there. And um, I still have to build more, um, more faces for my cube. But it turns out that building the circuit isn't that tedious if you know how to read schematics. But it turns out that my eight by eight schematic was pretty complicated to read. So I still have to um, uh, figure out what it is. But thanks to my uh, mentor, Sarah, she helped me uh, she helped me read the schematics and we got a little bit done on the circuit. And my LED, well, the light show can be programmed with some Arduino, with Arduino Unos or Arduino Nanos um, or any Ar Arduino in general. But if you can program or code, you can definitely, um, you could definitely program this, the light show on the uh, three by three or the eight by eight, as long as it has um, uh, some programmable aspects to it. Now, when building the three by three, I thought I lost some pieces to it, but turns out I never really did because we spent a lot, and we spent a lot of time trying to figure out what piece it was. So lesson to self, don't open the kit beforehand or else you might lose a piece. And uh, a side project that we worked on was a mini ornament, which is really fun to build. And I definitely recommend this for beginner beginners if you wanna um, do a little project on the side or just wanna learn how to solder in general. This was really fun um, to make. Now, this is the light show. As you can see, the um, in the far right, uh, a side doesn't really work because I think the circuit had an issue. But besides that, the rest of the LEDs work. And this um, 3 by 3 LED cube was pre-programmed. So if you don't really know how to program or code, you can um, just definitely just do it and buy it. Um, you don't have to know how to code. And yeah, I really enjoyed the light show and, and, and all the hard work paid off in the end. And this is the circuit board. Um, as you can see, it's a pre-printed circuit board. So you can put all the pieces um, uh, so you don't have to figure out where it goes. And this is the little ornament that I built and you can hang it on your Christmas tree during festive holidays. And um, there's uh, only five components to it. So it's very basic, very simple. And this ornament turns off when it senses natural light or artificial light and turns on when it doesn't sense any light because when it's dark. So um, yeah, you could save your battery. And this is a uh, circuit to it. So, um, my future work is to finish the 8x8 LED cube and, of course, program it to do some cool light shows. And, as, and also build my 4x4 
RBG, R red, blue, green, LED cube, and probably use it as my little nightlight or something um, to just turn it on. Or I'll probably, or I'll probably use it with, for other projects as well. And I also want to replace the red LEDs on my 3x3 to different colors, so it's not just one color throughout. And yeah, uh, thank you for watching and listening.